I'm going to show you how to make a cloud in a jar. We are going to watch condensation in action. All you need is a large glass jar, boiling water, matches, ice cubes, and aluminum foil. You will want to shape the aluminum foil into a box shape so it can hold the ice cubes later. The first step is to fill the large glass jar about two thirds to three fourths full of boiling water. Next, you will want to empty out most of that water until it is about one fourth full. But be careful, the jar will be very hot, so use some oven mitts or a towel as you pick up the jar. After you set the jar back down, light a match and drop it into the large jar with water. But be careful here as well, we are using fire, so make sure an adult is around to help you. When you drop the match into the jar, quickly place the aluminum foil with the ice cubes on top of the jar. We don't want anything to escape here. You will now see vapor start to form. This is because the warm water and the match heated the air inside the jar. The warm wet air rose up to the top of the jar and hit the cold air that was coming off of the ice cubes. This represents the atmosphere. It is cold up there. When warm wet air meets cold air, they create a cloud of water droplets, which has formed into a cloud in this jar. This is what we call condensation. It is just a smaller version of what happens in the sky every day when clouds form. Clouds are just collections of tiny water droplets formed when the warm air that's being heated by the sun, which we call evaporation, meets the cold damp air in the atmosphere. When enough water droplets form together, the cloud may get really heavy with water and the rain will fall from the clouds. That is called precipitation. Oh, did you see that drop of waterfall just now in the jar? Well, that is precipitation happening in our jar. If you watch your jar long enough, you may see more rain fall down. Well, that's a cloud in a jar for you. I hope you have fun making your own.